great time for a, a Nocturne game. Uh, I will be playing against a Diana here, which should be no worries for me, honestly. The uh, the Diana is not going to do anything early game. Probably just going to chill, and I am also just going to chill. I'm going to go for like a very farm-heavy path as well, and uh, see how that turns out here. Nocturne, honestly, the most recommended champion I could ever tell you to go for in solo queue. This champion is ridiculous for this, especially if you're new to the jungle, because... He is extremely easy to get kills on with your ultimate. Your, your ganks are like essentially done for you, which is, you know, obviously very good. So if you're getting into a like into anything in jungle, if you're trying to learn the role, start with Nocturne is always a good advice, honestly. I'm going to go for a nice uh, spicy path here. We're going to ward the blue because we're clearing away from it. We're going to do wolves first. And uh, yeah, the void grub path, essentially. This locks you in for like the first five minutes of the game into doing something, but that's fine. Only done on champions that actually have good clear speed, so Nocturne, you know, like Diana, uh, Karthus, you know, those types of champions have good clear speed, that's why you want to do this on. Take your W second for the attack speed. Do this, make sure to stand on your path, obviously, and we can just focus the big one. Okay, that should die. Perfect, Krug's next. We have the ward on the blue to cover the uh, cover the invade if she goes for the invade on my blue buff for some for some reason. It'd be a, it's an interesting one, but, you know, could happen, technically. Eh, slightly trolled there. I should have kept my swipe because I'm losing second now. Committing to more clearing, so it's take a second point in Q because your fear doesn't really do much on the camp. Gives more value. Cute path towards this so I can run backwards with it. Just for damage. There we go. And now we go for blue. Blue Gromp. Scuttle spawns. We are good. Tiny bit slow, perhaps. But that's fine. My wolves are going to respawn at four minutes, which is kind of what I'm looking for here. Oh, also, you love this game. We're talking, like, low emerald MMR, I believe. Something like that. So you are aware. Okay, okay. First bottom top lane. Not bad. We're probably going to have to danger ping him. Just a smidge slow here, but that's okay. I could delay it slightly. Do I really want to get the Void Grubs at 5 minutes is really the question I have to ask myself right now. I guess the answer is no. I'll delay it like a couple seconds, because I do want to get the uh, boots on the first back. There is the Diana. I mean, she's delaying herself as well, so in, the, in like the grand scheme of things it won't matter. I want this because uh, I get the boots. I, I did my clear slightly slow, honestly. I could have definitely done it a bit more efficiently, to be fair. So I lost some seconds, but that's okay. The wolves will re respawn any second now. So I'm just going to go do wolves and then finish the clear out anyway. Going to be slightly late for the void grubs because of this, but that is okay. Got Q for some extra movement speed. The Diana kind of went for like the gank and stuff anyway as well. So she's not gonna, really going to be there. So it's not going to be felt too much for me here. I should still be fine. Could also just skip past the Karox, perhaps, to do them on five minutes still, but we'll see. As you can see, the path lines up pretty well. If you're slightly faster than what I just did, then you can get it, but... I could have backed, technically, and not gone the CDR boots and gone, like, double longsword and still made it in time, but I should be close enough, it's fine. Being slightly late is not the worst thing in the world. Because I don't think Diana is going to be there on spawn anyway, so... You know, I could skip this, but this is going to hit me level 5. So if Diana's going to contest it, you know, I'll have tier 2 boots and level 5, so I should be fine. If there is a fight there, which I don't think is going to happen because Diana most likely resets. Yeah, there's the plant hit, so Diana is bot side right now, which means I have a free reign anyway. Kind of what I expected the moment I saw that Diana right there. So this is what we're doing. Level 5, beautiful. No worries. Priority is looking a little sus though, but you know. Walk them backwards. So they group a bit better. And then we just hit them down. I have two smites, so I can smite the first one as well here. 
Oh, nice. They changed. Uh, they, of course, they changed the void grub, so now it's actually smiteable correctly. Nice. Beautiful. Right, finish these off. Still good, though. Like, Diana couldn't have been here, really. Like, she could have, technically, but she, she already delayed herself. So at that moment in time, I also made the decision to just, like, yeah, screw it. Because I can delay myself slightly and still make it easily. It's all good. I could perhaps dive this? If he shoves the... Ooh. I should be okay here. I have lethal tempo. There's no way she gets to fight me here. You are 8 HP. Oh, you dashed on me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Here, please. Thank you. I'm most likely going to die, I think. Oh, oh the level up. Ignites. Oh, the level up. Sit down. Sit down, my guy. Very, very good. That level up was extremely clutch, by the way. Holy moly. <laughs> we take those. Beautiful stuff. Let's go. All right, we go Hexplate first. We're going pure ulti, uh, ulti gen, essentially. Still the better way to go. Yep. We want to have as much ulti as possible. So the more cooldown we get on it, the better it's going to be. Because this frees up our entire, like, having to think about it. Like, every single time you ult, you go for a gank, essentially, right? Or you have ult, you go for a gank. I could look for a bot lane right now, but the currently, both waves are pushed in. So I'm just going to do Grom first and see if that changes. Like, maybe Diana shows bot here and I can counter gank. That is an option. Yes, there it is. I'm going to have to move, 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 move. Go for this guy. Flashed instantly. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna focus Diana then. Fine. Good flash. Still very good cleanup. That's the counter gank I was waiting for with the ult potentially. Please, guys. Or Kaisa. Uh, Zeri, please. I gave him a triple kill. That's the best I was gonna get out of that one. Zeri should have hit him, but I think she misclicked the turret like three times or something. That's still very, very worth it. I don't mind that at all. Uh, right now, I'll be obviously playing towards the dragon objective. My ult's going to be on cooldown, so I have about 60 seconds to CS right now to just clear my camps. I'm going to clear top down because I want to clear towards the dragon. The void grubs are going to spawn like 140, but that's fine. It's huge, though. Um... I gave my ADC three kills with that, which is absolutely beautiful. Like, that's an insane gank. That's also, like, in mind. Like, I kept it in mind, right? Like, instead of just doing anything, I just wait for Diana to show up for it. Because uh, she was most likely going to be ganking bot lane, and then you can counter it, and it's just free. I went for the highest priority target first. Like, the, the Kai'Sa was going to do the most damage, I think, there. And she forced the flash instantly. So my next ult could just be down towards bot side as well, which is another reason I'm also clearing towards bot side. Like, obviously, it's for the dragon, like, the, prior the priority of the objective, or prioritize the objective there. But with my ult coming off cooldown after this clear, I can just kill their ADC. No flash. There's nothing they can do. As long as my team doesn't die right now. But yeah, this, this clears directly into an ult refresh, so I can go bot. There is Zed. Darius is just winning top, which is nice. For me right now, all I really have to do here is I just clear this, wait a little bit for like the, the Z to go back mid lane and stuff, and I can just go ult bot lane right now. Go for Nami. Perfectly fine. Doesn't have flash, so she's definitely going to die. Spell shield or ult. Alright, another kill for my ADC. Not a worry. I would like to see my ADC not troll me on Dragon now, though. ADC. Are you serious right now? Like, I get you have a wave, but you can literally just chill. Okay, the good thing here is that the Diana made this, like, kind of free. Because the Diana decided not to go for this. But if Diana and Zed, like, just killed my Vigar there and rotated for this with my ADC AFK farming the wave, that would have been sad. Now, Diana's obviously going to get Void Grubs here, but that's not a problem. I already got the first three. I'm not going to be too worried about it. If Darius could kill the guy, that would be good, but he's not paying attention to it, I think. Like, obviously, yeah, like, I realized he is in lane with Nar and stuff, but he has such a lead that he probably could just 2v1 them anyway, if that makes sense. But technically, he could walk towards the, uh, the Void Grubs and prevent Diana from taking them, but... On the other hand, I'm also not really expecting him to do that, which is all good. 
Axe blade on this back, beautiful. I'm surprised it's not been cleared yet, to be fair. Maybe she didn't go for it. Sorry, she's checking now. There it is. Fair enough. Got my Hexblade, so we just take the recall. I have colossal amount of ultimate now, so I'm just gonna run top. On my way, Mr. Darius. I am coming. Don't worry about it. I'm almost there. We got this one for free. That is a dead Diana. Goodbye. That's actually good ult timing. Or good dash timing, sorry, not ult timing. Beautiful. Very nice counter gank situation. That is what we like to see. Nice. Absolutely perfect. I am winning the game for my team right now. Absolutely destroyed. Like, I've won the entire bot lane for my, for my bot lane. That's good. That counter gank right there is insane for Darius as well. Not getting the most kills, but yeah, it's all good. You know, doesn't have to get... You don't always have to get the kills. Ooh, look at this guy. Just fear him. That's a good jump. Darius gave him that one, kind of. But he still gets the hook, so it's fine. <laughs> Sit down, buddy. Sit down, buddy. 35 seconds on my ult here, so I do want to play for that towards bolt. My Zeri is already very fat. The kills I gave the guy are just mental right now. So he's doing well. She is doing well, I guess. Yeah. Jungler Gaming. Won my bot lane. Top lane won by himself, mostly, to be fair. But that counter gank definitely, yeah. Put the nail in the coffin, I think. Beautiful. Okay, just keep clearing my ults up in three seconds. I could kill anyone with that. We'll see. Zeri is recalling right now, so I'm just going to respect it for a bit. My ult is up. I'm just going to do Grom wait a little bit, see if they walk up. I might just, just be able to ult Nami or something. Okay. Okay. I'm obviously not overextending here. Like, I'm not going to go aggressive towards the Diana for no reason. That's a good flash. Both of them are zoned. Just go for Diana. That's gonna hurt. Nice Soraka. Good. good, good. Oh, that's a Zed. Here, please. Bell shield so it doesn't hit me with anything. And Zeri cleans up the rest that I've already done for. Yeah, this is game over. The, their teamfight coordination was bad there because of my Nocturne ult as well. They were completely blind, so they couldn't really play well together. And uh, it's pretty much just GG. Soraka played it well. I mean, I've given my Zeri every single kill she has, essentially. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> that's pretty tough for the enemy team. <laughs> oh, man. Fair enough. Alright, Eclipse next. And we go blue trinket as well. I'll wait 10 gold for an extra longsword because that's pretty worth. And we do have the dragon coming up. So that is something I do want to play for here. 39 seconds. Don't really care about the rift herald either. We're just going to clear down towards the dragon. My ult will be up as well. It's only a 75 second cooldown at the moment. The moment hit, I hit level 11, it's going to be uh, way lower. So that's big. I have an extra smite, so I'll just use one on this. Clear everything down right now, hit level 11, go for the dragon, and it should be uh, pretty much game. It's already pretty much game, to be fair. Like, I've already done enough. It says Zeri is fat as hell, just as a direct byproduct. I really don't care about the Herald right now, I'd rather play for the dragon. Sorry, it's just kind of dead. We go Drake. You can go bolt, I have ult, I guess. Uh, not hitting level 11 before using this ult is kind of unfortunate, though, but, you know. Might be able to... I don't think this is enough, but I can try. Well, if, they got ba if that guy backs, it's over for them. It's not level 11, but it's fine. Uh, about now I should use this. There's the Kai'Sa. Goodbye. I missed my Q, apparently? Okay. And that's why you have Blue Trinket on Nocturne, by the way. Just to do that. 
Because you can get vision and obviously like the timing for the Nami and stuff, like it's free. But without Blue Trinket you can't do stuff like that, you can't hit certain ults. That's why Blue Trinket is the best thing you can go for on Nocturne. As soon as you can get it, go for it. Alright, now we just go for the bot side camps first. Because we want to clear all this and after that uh, we can look for that Rift Herald essentially. But I don't want to just like leave all my bot side camps up here instead of like insta sprinting Herald. I still have plenty of time to clear the Herald. My team can do it for themselves I guess. But for me clearing my bot side 3 camps and then doing it just lines up a bit better. Gets me more overall XP and gold income. Not really losing anything out of it. Like if the Rift Herald would be closer I could consider just going for it and not doing this bot side stuff. But it's still plenty of time to clear it so it's not a problem at all. Oh that's a bit spicy. I don't know about this one. My R is still down. I do know my Zeri is very fat, so... I'm just gonna push the wave out here. Legendary. I don't know if I can make this, but I will try. I have built up. That's perfect. I barely made that in time. Tad bit over aggressive for my team, I would say, but you know, it's all good. They're fat as hell anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. What spell shield that, so I get the uh, double of the attack speed for a bit, and we just focus the Herald now. Still have plenty of time to clear this, so I wasn't, I'm not in a rush to ever clear the Herald. Like, if all my camps are up, that's definitely worth more to me than getting this Herald, so that's why I went for, like, the bot side first and stuff. If the Herald was, like, if it was, like, 19 minutes, or 18 minutes, and 18 and a half minutes or whatever, I could skip out all my camps and do it if I really feel like it's necessary, but, yeah, it's, uh... Bit of a trade-off, because you're losing, obviously, camp tempo, which is th kind of the last thing you want to lose. On, like, a farming-type jungler, anyway. Please do not overextend, Zeri. You are worth a thousand gold, my guy. Do not want to be giving that to the enemy team, you know? Alright, just take the reset here, get the Eclipse. Beautiful. Hmm, yeah. I could just... Eh, I could, in theory, actually, just go arc Axiom Arc here. This is very snowball heavy though, if I'm doing it this way. Uh, but in this case, in this game specifically, I can just do the Axiom Mark now. The more ulti you can gain, or like the lower cooldown your ulti can be, the better it's going to be. So that's why like rushing a bunch of like obviously the, the ability has boots and going hex, uh, hex plate and stuff. But like if you're very fed, if you're ahead, if your team is snowballing, you should go for the Axiom Mark too, because it just instantly gives you ult after ult after ult. Ridiculously strong. I'm gonna run bolt as fast as I can here. I don't know if I can make this, but my ult should be in range soon. Okay, well, that's gonna be a Nami walking into me, right? Tell shield that. Good flash. Does it matter? Probably not. Just walk out. Darkness. Dash on this guy. One shot him. Perfect. Go for the one that is the furthest out of position, which in this case is definitely the uh, ADC there. Uh, I want to use the Herald on that turret because it's just worth more gold. So instead of using it for this turret, which is already pretty much dead, I'd much rather use it on bot lane. But that's what I'm going to go for now with this wave. He wins that, no problem. Place it down. And I will just click it as soon as i can no don't go that way uh, turn around please thank you <laughs> that was awkward i accidentally double clicked it <laughs> oops right, let it walk past the turret click on it again this time this direction please yes thank you yeah, my, my adc is very fat this is good very good rift herald use here pushes out the entirety of bolt while they have the pressure on mid lane go on this guy kill him Perfect. 40 seconds on ult. Use my Q for a bit of uh, attack damage. I probably shouldn't overextend here. Because they're just going to respawn now. We just won the fight earlier, so there's no reason to risk it, risk it at the moment. Also don't have the most mana. I could just play for like the red buff here and get like a Baron Dragon respawn and it's over for them. No real reason to risk anything. My ult's up soon. I would... At this point, finish just finish this. They overextended for sure. Uh, 28 seconds on Dragon. I mean, I could just get it before I recall, I guess. And we just get Baron out of base and end the game, pretty much. 
gonna wait here for it, for it to spawn. Nothing else to really do right now. No worries. Ult is up, so if I need to react to something, I can do that. There we go. I'm just gonna reset after this and we'll go for Baron. Clean out the game nicely. Spend my money and get the Eclipse. Beautiful. Yep. Right, Baron time. All we have to do now is just Baron. We can end the game off that. Pretty sure Darius dies to this, actually. Eh, never mind. Thank you, than I expect it. Is that really necessary, my guy? After all I did for you. Still, really. Okay, then. Very interesting. Go for this guy, obviously. Could be a good kill. Oh, that's... That was clean. That was actually very well-timed by the enemy there. Nicely done, Diana. Fair play. It got me with that one. I should have flashed earlier, but I didn't. That is on me. She, she timed everything really well there, so I'll give him that for sure. Very nice. It doesn't really matter though, obviously game is over, so... Yeah, not a problem. I uh, mean, it was a very good carry on my end. Obviously this guy got very fat, right? But giving him those five kills in the early game or something like that is absolutely ridiculous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Uh, well, it was a pretty quick game, so I suppose I can always just do a second one. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, time for the second game of this video. Uh, I will be playing against a Diana in this one. I, I played a Diana in the first one as well, actually. We're playing against Diana again, let's go. Um, so, yeah, I'll be going for this. I, I think I'll just go for the same type of path as I did in the first one. But this time in the other direction, that's why not. No worries. Uh, yep. Yeah. I will just go start on the Raptors and do that clear from this side. I will see what Diana does, what she ends up doing. I'm, like, vain if she pushes in all the way, I might have to on level 3 go top, or like, like after 3 camps go top anyway, but we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna stand over here, Q through the camp. There we go. I uh, cancelled my auto attack. Lovely stuff. Good start. Good start. Kited a little bit. Q through. As you can see, no worries. We clear this one. Beautiful. Take W for the attack speed here. Uh, Elo of this game, by the way, is low diamond. Uh, we're against like diamond four players for the most part, so you are aware. So, yeah. Okay. Make sure to not waste that massive auto attack right there. That would be quite bad. Go for the... I'm actually trolling. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is not on yet. This is my first game today. I should have gone uh, for the raptors into the wolves, of course. But I absolutely am asleep. This is my first game today. Lovely stuff. I'll go for the other path then with the raptor start. I just defaulted to that one, apparently. Lovely. <laughs> Whoops. Still a good path, I'll take it. It does it's fine. I just do my bot side like this then, and then we do uh the top side here. We need to make sure we catch the four minute respawn on the raptors, and we'll just play like that. Not a problem. Vayne is indeed pushing in. This path does end up being slightly better for the gank angle on Vayne still, potentially, so there is that at least. Just kite it up this way. Let's go for the Grom first. Ooh. Well, that's a one for one. At least. Big wave loss, though. I have something in my eye as well. God damn. Vayne is heavily shoving here. Holy moly. Please. Oh, that's better. Nice. Finish the clear here. And then after this, we'll go for Vayne, I think. Because he is heavily, heavily pushing. So this is one of those where I just have to go for it, I think. We'll keep paying attention to Vayne right now to see if she actually, like, walks the ward. Please do not die, Fiora. Oh, she just kills him. Okay. 
That's Ghost. How long does she still have Ghost for? Dead. Perfect. Uh, so now, uh, in this situation, it is better to just reset here. And then run towards my bolt side camps afterwards. Because if I have to run all the way down the scuttle and then all the way down here, it's just going to take way too much time. It's not worth it. That is simply not worth it. My Crux will spawn at roughly 420-ish, as you can see. So I'm going to walk for Crux first and just do Crux Raptors and clear up. After level 6, I'll fix bolt lane issues, but before that, it's not going to happen. I made sure to flash and then like E spell shield the vein because she has ghost use. You used flash already. We already saw all of this happen. So this is completely fine for me. I'll see that Diana started top side with the clear down. Our bot lane did die to it, to the gank. So Diana has a double kill, but that's okay. I helped my Fiora quite a bit, so I'm quite happy with that at least. But yeah, my camps will all be respawning here, so it's not a worry. By the time I get the wolves, I could do them, but I'm probably just going to go start the Void Grubs up. That is relatively unfortunate. I currently have mid-prio, and my Fiora currently has prio as well, so there are pretty good ults I can actually do this. Could also potentially take the Scuttle here now. Oh, Diana is on it. Please, team, please. You have priority, please. What is going on here, man? Thank God they showed up for that one. <laughs> oh my God. Both of them had prio initially. So if the Diana would have been able to do way more than that, that would have been such an illegal situation. All right, I mean, not six yet. I wonder if I can even do this, actually, because I am extremely worried about this one right now. I should be able to take two, but I cannot help my Fiora, sadly. She won. Absolutely beautiful. That's, a, that's perfect. Good, 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 good. I'm just gonna say this to keep his mental a little bit or something. I don't know what else he wants from me. I'm not gonna go hell bolt before I hit six. That would be pretty criminal. Luckily, the Diana went for it, like, in a situation where I should have the double, like, priority rotation, which actually happened in the end, which is nice. After this, I'll be hitting six. Oh, come on. Really? Bolt lane, please. Just, can you just relax for, like, half a second, please? It's just giving this Diana everything. That's wild. Okay, fine. That sucks. Like, the wave was already shoving back into them, and the first thing they do is all in. That's terrible. You cannot be doing that. Especially in a situation like that. We killed Diana here. Like, she's most likely going to be bot side. We're just going to assume she's, like, on Dragon at this point as well. I mean, I could kill Diana. But I just need Vision. With my R. If, like, Fiddlesticks could place a ward or something. Nah, no, that's the Dragon is already done. Never mind. I'm just going to have to Danger Ping that. That sucks. I mean, I, I want to ult bot lane at this point because, like, they're clearly just inting at this rate. Like, they're actually just running it down. So, that's probably going to be a pretty decent gank angle. Mid lane might also be doable. I'm actually just going to ult mid. Oh, Cassidy, there is no way you don't ult forward, my guy. <laughs> okay. You had another ult, I think. Karma flashed down, though, at least, I suppose. Really? That's rough. Oh! Good vein rotation. That's me. That's us dead. Nice. The question mark ping came in and uh, the vein was already there. I did not realize that this was the case. Very good rotation from vein. Alright. Looking a bit bad. Looking a little bit bad there. For us, at least. Very nice vein rotation. I shouldn't have chased onto this. Like, the moment Karma flashed, the gank was over and I should have left. Unfortunately, unable to get the guy. The downside about Cassidy as well, though, to be fair. Like, uh, Cassidy has uh, no CC or anything of that nature. Oh, Diana, no R. It's just dead, yeah. Sucks. Uh, Diana's blue should be up, though. So I'm just gonna go do that. Nothing else I can really look for at the moment. 
We know this because she cleared top down and uh, yeah, she was top lane just now with just red buff, so pretty free to take blue here. She had to sweep. Middle doesn't have six yet though, which is a little bit unfortunate here. I'm worried right now. Like, I do have a fiddle six over here, but because he's not six yet, I'm worried. If he was six, this would be so free, but, you know. I'm not gonna go for Ash or anything. Going mid seems the most logical thing to do. Oh my god, Cassidy, you risked so much there. Alright, fine. You got the kill. I don't mind giving Cassidy kills, of course. It's always decent. I'm just going to hit this and clear it up, and I might be able to go for the Vein gank afterwards. Cassidy, you just hard greeted my guy. Please. What does that even mean? I just instant move for Vein. Yeah, I don't care, mate. I, I, at that point, I just want Vein to die as fast as possible. Diana's bot lane, so I'm just going to go for the Void Grubs here instantly. Let me just drag them together. Please do not get killed by this gank, bot lane. Oh god, okay, this is... Max E second. Cassidy, please. Cassidy, I beg. There is no way to did this to me. Alright, Cassidy. Sure, buddy. Ah, this sucks, man. This just... Uh, he, I'm just gonna leave, I guess. There's nothing else I can do. Cassidy did not do that correctly. He had all the priority in the world, and he gave every single bit of space towards the Diana there. Like, he gave, he gave her all the space in the world for no reason. Really. I mean, Cassidy gets a kill, I guess. Fear goes off, I'm fine. Oh, the fear didn't go off. That's a joke. If the fear went off there, Karma dies. It was like a half second away from going off. Please, get if he gets the kill, this is worth. Oh, he has nothing. Damn. It was like a half second of from going off there as well. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Like, if Cassina doesn't initially give Diana space here, I get all the Void Grubs for free. That's the, that's the sucky part about that entire situation. I think my move is just to run bot lane here. Because she just wasted Hawkshot as well. They're going to shove up the, ne the next wave, I think. Kaisa flash ghost used, okay. I mean, I could just kill Kaisa, right? That's one down. I should be able to get Ash as well. Oh, that's rough. Ah, uh, Diana, why do you have to be there? Fine. Fair play. Fair play. That's on me. I was, that was a way too greedy of a flash, considering I had no information. And Diana should have been bot lane as well, so that's just a terrible decision on my end. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I shouldn't have flashed after the Ash. That's definitely a mistake. I think this move is bad. Cassidy should just go for Dragon. I'm gonna walk this way towards the Raptors, I guess. Didn't go for it. Yeah, Cassidy didn't waste his time on top lane, unfortunately. Uh, it's... yeah, yeah, this is not good. Cassidy being top in this, this situation is quite bad. If he just rotates down to Dragon, that could have been much, much better. I'm gonna have to go for Karma here. Oh, Ash rotated quickly. That's brutal. That's ouchies. Oh my god, I'm dead. Wow. Oh, no way, man. Dude, ah, this is going so bad right now. I thought Ash would stick to Dragon as well. I'm trolling. Me trolling? Me trolling. Yeah, I gotta get my act together here. Feels like a seven deaths. Ouchies. Okay. Cassidy is also dying a lot. Hmm. I mean, at least Cassidy will get going eventually, right? It's gonna have to clear all my camps now. Everything needs to be cleared right now. I wanna ult something relatively quickly as well, actually. He probably has flash up at the moment. 
I need to not disregard my camps too much because Diana has nine kills. Like the amount of insanity that it, that is is ridiculous. Like she got so many kills for free. Oh boy, it's gonna be a bit of an issue, I think. She is going for a bad build though, so at least there's that. If she was going for a better build, this would be extremely scary, but she's not going for a very good build at all. So I'm not too worried. Let's see if she goes for the turret. Beautiful, that's the shutdown I needed. Alright, now we are just gonna go for red. I do not care about the Rift Herald. I'm just gonna be a bit more selfish than I was playing so far. Because I need to get my gold income and such. Wait for my ult, my team can just get that thing, I guess. That's fine. Diana's also bot lane. This should be a free kill. I say that it's a free kill, but it's not going to be a free kill. Hi. They got the Rift Herald for free, though, at least. <laughs> how is... How is... Okay, sorry, but like... Really, team? <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. I need to I need to just mute and ignore them. There's no way. And Mikasa gets that, right? He doesn't have flesh, actually. Walk also walks too far back with the next ultimate. He could kill Karma. Okay. Damn, dude. I'm not having a good one on this first game today, am I? Oh, that fiddle ult is terrible. Oh, okay, rough. I'm not FFing. Thank you very much. I'm just going to go bolt, I, I suppose, with ult. It's a bit rough, this. Definitely. Definitely a bit rough right now. They're very fed. I just need to farm my camps up. Hitting level 11 is going to be big here. Finishing my jungle smite is going to be big here. But those are things I currently definitely want to be doing. Got to keep it calm and collected. And I can bring back my griefing for today. For this game. Uh, ideally with Nocturne right now, I just want to look for as many picks with my ult as I can. Does Fiora kill that guy? Don't think so, actually. I think she dies. Yeah, it gets completely outkited by Vayne. Ghost ult used from Vayne, though. I want to finish this camp, so I hit my smite upgrade. And I can just go ult Vayne here. I use my spell shield correctly there. We're chilling. That's one. This is how we're gonna play for the rest of this game to recover what I just griefed, basically. Like, I, I made a lot of mistakes this game. Okay, I'm dead to Diana. Fair enough. Good uh, good flank there. Nothing else to say about it, just very solid flank. I respect it. Uh, definitely gonna need some magic resist as well this game. Mm, I'm gonna go for just standard cleaver, I think, here. Okay, I am level 11 now. My ult is 61 second cooldown. With this, I can solve my stupidity uh, for this game. So that's all good. There is just no way that Fiddlesticks are hard ignored Karma, right? I mean, Karma's dead to turret. No, she's not even dead to turret. Wow. That's brutal. Fiddlesticks completely ignored it. Okay, Ash is just dead now. That's a massively stacked up. Yeah, exactly. That is a massively stacked up turret right there. That was just going to be death. Fiddle should have just turned around and killed Karma. That would have been so much better instead of what he just did. All right, my ult's up in like six seconds. Just kill Ash for free. 59 seconds on my ult. I need to respect Diana now. Right, there's the Diana. I would like to think this is doable, but... Oh, I was so close as well. Please kill him. Like, this is worth it. I don't care. This is absolutely worth it. If they get that kill, please Twitch. Twitch. 
Thank you. Okay, I'll take it. That's good. That's very good. I didn't get the dragon because I couldn't get in range for it. Just, just barely, which was a bit sad. Maybe I should have walked more directly at it, perhaps. But trading like that in a situation like this, I'm extremely happy with. That's not a problem at all. I'll happily make those trades all day, pretty much. Very, very good. And the more kills that can go towards my team right now, the better it's going to be for our scaling potential. So they, yes, they get a dragon. Um, I mean, obviously, Diana got like four free kills on bot lane all day. So she has a colossal lead off that. But do this, maybe. I might hit the plant here to see. Okay, I just want to ult something, really. Something alone like Karma on bot ult would be good. But I also need to keep clearing my camps. Gonna look for a decent ult opportunity. Getting magic resist will be huge as well. If I can pick some of that up, I can survive Diana much easier. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Zen for the tenacity as well. It's probably the, the way I'm doing this. Yeah. Beautiful casting kill, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're snowballing. We're, we're gonna win this game for sure, I think. Uh, like, I could have won this game much more convincingly if I just, like, woke up and played well from the start, but I didn't do that, so... That should be a kill. It is a kill. And we go for this guy. He's also dead. Perfect. This is all good. It's just a nice ult thing situation. We see a good opportunity. We go for that opportunity. And now I'm just going to clean the rest of my bot side camps up. I'm going to be consistent here. My ult's on cooldown currently. My team could defend from top lane very, very easily with Twitch and Fiddlesticks together. No problem. So we're not going to look for that. We're just going to look to clear our camps and get our gold income out of that. This guy is most definitely dead here. I don't know if I can help this, but... She already used most of her skills, so this is just a free kill at this point, I think. Oh, good Zonia's time, my guy. Very nicely done. Don't think it matters, but yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm very, very strong in just 1v1 fights. If she didn't have Zonia, she would have just died. Oh, that's good. I didn't spell shield that. Am I going to die for this? I am probably going to die for this. Q for movement speed towards this, so I can just run towards the wall and flash over. There we go. I should have spell shielded the Ash Arrow, of course, but I am slow, apparently. This really isn't my game at the start. <laughs> this really just isn't my game, is it? That's all good. I think it's good to see. Like, you know, I, I mess up sometimes. I definitely mess up sometimes. Not a worry. I am definitely resetting here because I have my cleaver. Cassidy is popping off now. This is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting somewhere. Uh, currently, I do kind of want to just ult Karma. Because I just want to look for picks. Maybe if you are solos in. Get the kill. Karma, like, you might look at that Fiora had, Fiora had Karma. Not so much. Like, the Karma gets that next snare and she just runs to Narnia. Uh, this is kind of how the champion works. So just getting the kill quickly is good. Picks are working for us, though. We're just getting some solid picks here. Trying to be, like, solid with my CS still, you know. Not losing too much. Making sure I have, like, enough gold income, XP income the entire time. It's all important stuff. If you are trolling your early game, stuff like this becomes extremely important. That's hit. That's hit, I think. It didn't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, she hit me all the way down, so I'm just gonna assume Cassidy and gets him at this point. I'm not gonna agree too much. My team will definitely finish the Vayne off. And I already got the assist, so it's not a problem. We can Baron off this, for sure, I think. Mm, okay, I'm a little bit worried about this Baron, I'm not gonna lie to you. Screw it. Twitch needs to tank this, like, Fiddle6 needs to tank this. Someone else needs to tank this but me, please. Holy moly. Walk into range and tank it for me, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go for... Oh, we didn't have to ult that. Okay, fine. We're still darknessing, though. I need to just be around this and not die. So I can smite it. There we go. They're obviously going to get Dragon here, but yeah, that's okay, I guess. My Fiddlestick should have ideally stood in melee range there to tank it, because he can just drain tank the Baron. 
but he didn't do that so at that point i just had to be super careful because i can't over tank that obviously this is all good though they did get the drake soul but uh, the elder dragon is now on the table so as long as we get that we should be good i'm gonna go for the wits end next get the tenacity and the magic resist in there probably switch my boots as well to to mercs i think for the magic resist I do have already have a large amount of tenacity, so I feel like if I finish, hmm, AP AP, oh, that is a good flash. That is extremely painful. Dinah ulted though, at the very least, I think. Oh, that was a very good flash. She absolutely killed me. Bit of a late teleport, unless it was on cooldown. I think the overall fight is still good. She f she flashed absolutely like beautifully to uh, mess me up. The was that Kaisa? No, that was yeah, that was Kaisa, right? Kaisa didn't die. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. It's still fine. Like I don't really mind that too much. Like any at any given moment, like dying for like multiple kills in return is fine, really. Especially like kills going towards like Cassidy and Fiora and stuff. It's not a problem at all. Cassidy is definitely dead here. Yep. But we get like mid turrets, like two mid turrets and a bot turret. I did die. They did use a lot of cooldowns, so it's kind of fine. And like in these situations, all of that is fine. It doesn't really matter too much. Ooh, not the best angle ones. He might die here for that one for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What a game on my end, man. Could have been cleaner. Definitely should have been cleaner. Alright, no worries. I shouldn't kill this yet, actually. I should wait 15 seconds for Cassidy. I'm gonna do Wolves and I'll turn around for blue again. Alright, we're going for Vayne. Slow him here. Oh, that's too greedy. Okay, I tanked long enough. Twitch didn't do enough damage, though. But This should be a cleanup from the Cassidy TP. Uh, Twitch, like, slightly back down in that situation. Just slightly back down in that situation. If he went more aggressive for it, uh, he probably would have cleaned it before I died. But on the other hand, it's also like, you know, Kassadin would come in for the teleport anyway. Like, we realized Kassadin had teleport too. So you can just, like, kind of play with a little bit of aggression. He teleports, cleans it up. I, I stepped up slightly too far, though. I shouldn't have walked forward. I should have, like, ba baited them slightly further towards me. So Twitch has better hit, uh, hitbox radius. Which is something I messed up on. But anyway, like, again, this is one of those examples. I died, but my Cassidy got four kills. So, don't really care too much, you know. High death game is what it is. Doesn't matter. As long as Cassidy gets the kills, we're good. Alright. Getting... I, I do want to... Like, we have to play for Elder. Out of those objectives, like, Elder is worth more than Baron. So we will definitely be playing for that. For now, I'll just be clearing. I'm going to get my team uh, red buff, all of them. And then I'll get my team blue buff as well. And I'll... I mean, actually, I'll do red buff. I'll recall for my wits end. And then we'll get the blue out of base. I think that's going to be the move here. It's okay, I can recall with my Fiora. The Cassidy might go for blue himself, which is fine too. Oh. one i am extremely strong here already but i don't know if this is worth it to be fair i mean i traded one for one with the enemy jungler at the very least they killed another guy maybe shouldn't have tried to save the guy but eh, you know all right uh, i think switching to steel caps is going to be a move here because i don't need the tenacity as much i already have quite a lot of it an extra like reduction on their auto attack damage is going to be quite good so that's going to be the thing i do next and uh yeah, it should be fine my death here doesn't matter too much like, I go for, like, I commit to this. Like, if I uh, I commit to this, fine. Because the objectives aren't going to spawn before I'm at least back alive, if that makes sense. So I have some leeway to go very, very aggressive there. And, um, you know, just die one for one. It's not the big of a deal. Like, I could have potentially gotten more uh, if, like, the entire team of them didn't just rotate on that. 
but even a one for one in a situation like this where they're the enemy team can't take any objectives anyway is not a big deal we gotta play safe for the dragon here We gotta take dragon. If they get the dragon, the, we can never, we cannot win a team fight. So the dragon is more important. Like Baron gives us better pushing potential, sure, but we can't win a team fight without this. I'm gonna go for Ash here. Nah, uh, this is a bit bad, I think. That's gonna cost us for sure. Fiddlesticks is like I don't know, chilling over there. Twitch just died to Vayne. They're gonna get Dragon now. Hmm, Cassian does have Teleport up, but didn't use it to go bot lane. Interesting. They can't go Dragon here, can they? Cassian just TPs on that. Yeah, that's free. That is absolutely free. Cassian is strong as hell. This is a free kill. Ooh, that's that, that sucks. Oh, that's a good flash too. Uh, he's not gonna die though. He should be very careful not to over-aggress on Diana though. Ash ult down. He gets this for sure. If Diana walks like this, she dies. That's a beautiful choice. Good timing as well on it as well. Well done, Cassidy. This should be good. Like uh, Fiora has to teleport. She does get the dragon, but she dies here instantly, right? Don't you ha you're against an elder Cassidy. Are you serious, my guy? That's really, really stupid. He should have just ran. Like, Fiora would have killed him. He was one hit away from dying. One Diana away from dying. Because he had, El like, because they had Elder Dragon. <laughs> oh, Cassidy, you cannot be serious with that one. Holy moly. We just Baron here. Holy moly. Don't go for a red buff in this scenario. Are you joking right now? He is absolutely trolling. Wow. This is our best time to just Baron. I'm gonna just hit it, like, uh, whatever, I guess. Go this is really grief from them. Really, really grief going for that right there. Fine, we don't get Baron now. Lovely. Nice red buff, guys. Like, that was literally a free Baron. Yeah, no thank you. That is incredibly criminal, that decision right there. Holy moly. What a joke. What an absolute joke. <laughs> right, we need to wait for Elder. We can't take a fight with Elder on them. That it would be extremely bad. Mm, yeah. Alright. Uh, I don't know if we can do Baron now. How many of them do have, have Elder? Bane doesn't have Teleport at the very least. Still like a solid 30 seconds, I believe, on that Elder. Probably more, actually. Oh, it's scary Baron. Very, very scary. The, four, the, the previous Baron was absolutely free, and this Baron is scary as hell. This is still fine. I don't have to move away from this, because there's not much I can do. I'm just going to place the vision thing there. So I can see the Diana moving from either side. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage from Kassan. Didn't even get to smite that one. I need to wait out the Elder. It's almost gone. It is almost gone. Elder is going to disappear any second now. I'm going to have to ult here. The reason I'm ulting here is because this allows me to... Um, to blind them in that fight so Twitch gets more time opening there. the fear on him he's dead perfect Fiora gets the backdoor push it's over all right i mean pretty bad early game for me as well but we were fine throughout it uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure the like button below i'll spend quite a bit and with that being said i will see you guys in the end game stats all right so for the end game stats for the first game here i ended up doing 17.2k damage which is more than enough really uh, i obviously set up my uh mostly my 80 carry in this entire early game for this game 
So that was just very clean. Didn't end up getting the many kills myself, but I didn't really need them. You know, if you get your team like three kills, four kills in the early game, snowball from there, you're very happy. Just like overall consistency and you're good. Check the damage, 32.4. Healing done at 16k. Damage taken, 26k, which is on par with Darius. Self-mitigate another 14.6. Gold earned at 12k behind Zeri, of course, but Zeri had 17 kills. Uh, for the rest of this, is just a bunch of consistency in it, really. Because I have, uh, I mean, lar like 12,000 12, gold here for like 10 kills. Uh, compared to obviously the 17 kills here. I did have a decent amount of kills. Uh, but like consistent farming, you know, getting all of that consistent gold income still lands me a solid 12k. Even though this guy also has 10 kills, he has less CS and just less gold overall, right? As a difference there. So just keeping it nice and consistent is big. And for the runes, lethal tempo, giving me extra... That's pretty good uptime, actually. A lot of extra hits, extra attack speed is always good. Uh, triumph for the HP restored, tenacity CC reduction, loss stand for more damage in closer fights, and then we have the extra AD and just the ult cooldown that we are mostly playing for, really, in any case, because you want to ult as often as possible, because pretty much every ult uh, should be a free kill, unless they have, like, a lot of ways to react to it with, with globals. Like, if anyone walks by themselves, they're dead. So, you know, that's going to land you quite a bit. And uh, yeah. All right. So for the end game stats for the second game here, I kind of trolled this one a little bit to be fair, but yeah, 26.3k uh, damage, which is a respectable amount, I would say. As Nocturne, you shouldn't be expecting to do the most, but obviously like my Cassid and my uh, Twitch, like got a lot of the kills and stuff, got quite fat. So that's good. They would definitely out damage me. Nocturne has like generally a decent amount, but will never be the most in the team. Because you rely on picks more than like straight up AoE or very good team fight damage, which gives you overall more damage to champions, of course. But still not too bad. Decent stuff. Uh, true damage, 1100. We have objective damage at 25.7k. Diana obviously had more. She had uh, quite a lot of control for a large part of this game. Just like consistency and making picks and stuff is kind of what helped me out more than like to bring it back. Because I messed up my early game, really. Uh, 22k uh, healing done. Damage taken for 55.9, which is good. Like, obviously, eventually my role kind of uh, turned into, you know, making an engage possible for my cast and then my Twitch, allowing them to do damage. So for me, as you can see, like, just having damage taken is very, very important. And this can negate some damage taken on Twitch cast and then open, like, allows them to use skill cooldowns on me and they can clean up afterwards, which is good. Still, though, regardless of anything, I still have 16.3k gold which is the second highest of my team. So even though I was like struggling, like having consistent farming, clearing and making sure to have like good gold income is going to keep me relatively even with like the rest still, you know, I can uh, I can hold myself uh, together, even though I did have 11 deaths this game, which is the second highest here. But this is also due to me creating more fight openings and going a little bit more suicidal with things due to the fact that then afterwards... Uh, they use their skill cooldowns on me, and then, you know, the rest of the team can clean up, which uh, kind of resulted in that. A lethal tempo for okay-ish uptime, uh, healing here, tenacity, CC reduction, last 10 for more of damage in those closer fights, extra AD, and then obviously the ultimate hunter for the ult cooldown, which is the main thing here. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, that was it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed both games. If you did, make sure to like button below. That was quite a bit, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.